Hi, hello everyone. How are you? Hope you are all doing good, friends. Welcome to the Software Services channel. Let us discuss something useful today. So we are in the uh, series of uh, cloud computing course. So I, I, I renamed it uh, for the sake of uh, simplicity. Uh, the basics of cloud computing course so today we are going to discuss the topic of advantages and disadvantages of cloud computing friends okay so in the earlier classes we already uh, gone through the traditional cloud computing concepts i mean uh, sorry traditional computing concepts uh, cloud computing concepts and also the differences between the two so in today's class we will see the advantages and disadvantages of cloud computing yeah so it's a quick recap if anybody uh, comes directly to this video you just uh, go through all the earlier videos to get a good understanding friends okay let us what are the advantages of cloud computing so uh advantages in the sense uh, we have different perspectives to think of okay so for example uh, from cost perspective what are the advantages so uh, the capital expenses and operational expenses are very much low when it comes to cloud computing friends but uh, it is not in the case of on-prem we need to purchase a lot of uh, infrastructure which uh, costs uh, crores of rupees we need to uh you know invest uh upfront okay but cloud computing offers you a pay as you go model like uh, so take the re rent infrastructure as rent and uh, pay as per the usage okay and operation expenditure also we no need to own anything and we no need to maintain anything a uh, cloud uh, uh service provider will maintain everything for us okay and from the scalability and flexibility perspective, uh, cloud computing offers a very, uh, you know, uh, super advantages uh, in case of, uh, you know, as per the, the demand is increasing or decreasing, we can always uh, use the resources as per the demand. We can scale up and scale down, but in the on-prem, it is not, uh, you know, uh, possible that much easily. And also global reach so today you know i have a business somewhere in part of the world and i need to expand it to the another country so with the cloud we can easily expand our uh, business it uh, infrastructure uh, so uh, anywhere because cloud is available across the world okay so there is a one more advantages of the cloud computing in which uh, many organizations are adapting and interested towards the cloud rather than uh, staying in the on-prem okay and the from the performance and speed aspect also uh, the cloud service providers uh, you know having a state of art uh, latest technologies of infrastructure which they are constantly upgrading right uh, so constantly change and adapting to the new changes but uh, it is not uh, possible that much easily when it comes to on prem uh, that is an, uh, one more advantage of the cloud computing and, uh, content delivery network uh, in the sense uh, so if you have uh, so much of content uh, that needs to be uh, rendered to the end user uh, so if you go by our own uh, so it is uh, uh, only one uh, cloud uh, cdn uh, or content uh, uh, delivery network we need to use but uh, uh, when it comes to cloud computing the advantage is uh, since uh, it is a global reach they, they can use the global cdns for uh, faster uh, rendering okay all these e-commerce sites or uh, netflix or uh, amazon all these people uh, will use these uh, cdns and uh, uh, security aspect if you see uh, the expertise and the updating and patching of the infrastructure everything will be taken care by the cloud uh, professionals uh, from the cloud service providing provider side 
Uh, so we don't need to do uh, you know anything breaking our heads uh, for our downtime planning uh, you know time budgeting and uh, all these things so they they will uh, 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 they, they will uh, they have dedicated teams of experts uh, that uh, implement all the security regulations uh, inside the uh, cloud and uh, updates and patching uh, so it is a continuous phenomena friends so we need to constantly upgrade our softwares uh, based on uh, the security vulnerabilities okay all these things also will be done by the cloud computing and uh, so reliability and availability a very a great concept uh, in which uh, industries are much interested uh, towards this aspect uh, only we can say so that is called reliability and availability um, so reliability in the sense the uh, so literally reliability in the sense the trust trust of uh, the application whether the application will work or not okay uh, and the availability in the sense uh, so whether the uh, application is available whenever needed for the end user okay so these two aspects are very 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 important uh, uh, parameters uh, for any application friends okay uh, so availability in the sense uh, for example uh, if we have our own data center which is located and only one part uh, one one area if for example uh, things suppose there is a fire accident in the data center so what happens single point of failure all the data center will fire and uh, so it is very much uh, you know a big problem to restore the data center so till that time restoration uh, all the services uh, goes you know down so that that is a problem of uh, putting all the uh, things in one data center and there is if there is no backup data center okay so now, but uh, in case of cloud, the redundancy in the sense, um, so the, since the cloud service provider is having their infrastructure spread across the world, so we can make our uh, application backups to the other areas also. Okay. Uh, so that that is so. If there is a single point of failure or uh, in one data center, for example, in India. Uh, there is a Mumbai, uh, you know, uh, Delhi, uh, Chennai data centers are there, for example. Today. So, I, if I have workloads in uh, Chennai working, if there is any accidents or cyclone effects in Chennai, then all the workloads will be worked from Mumbai. Okay. If we need to, you know, go away from India, so that is also possible. So, we will uh, back up our uh, IT infrastructure to the USA also. So that much of uh, uh, backup and uh, uh, safeguarding of our uh, workloads will happen. So that is called the availability part. Okay, and uh, so uh, if with that uh, architecture of a global uh, infrastructure, we will manage the disasters. Okay, and backup and the disaster recovery is possible so that is all we call as you know redundancy uh, you know and and the service level arguments so cloud service providers have will give service level agreements to the end users so service level agreements in the sense uh, it's a kind of guarantee of service how much time the service is available to the uh, end user without uh, downtime okay so if uh, any cloud service provider uh, can't able to offer uh, the promised uh, service for a, a promised time um, as uh, said in the sla then the cloud service provider will give you know rebates okay so all these are there with the cloud computing friends and the core competencies in the sense uh, uh, you know uh, the management tasks there are so much to manage when we own the data center uh, so 
when it comes to uh, cloud computing all this management overhead is not uh, with us but it is with the csp there is the responsibility of the csp so they will take care of so all in all uh, you know uh, the cloud computing uh, is a very 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 uh, superb uh, technological uh, disruption in the field of it and uh, because of all these advantages uh, so many industries are uh, you know adapting uh, cloud for running their applications okay and uh, yeah so that's that's about uh, this uh, session in the next session we'll discuss uh, some disadvantages of cloud computing also right so till then bye bye uh, uh, friends and uh, one more two points i need to touch base uh, so collaboration and access innovation and time to market in the sense uh, so all these we can access uh, remotely uh, so we no need to go sit in, in the data center to uh, access so since the cloud is internet based uh, we, anywhere the internet is there there you can access and uh, um, so time to market in the sense uh, for example this night you got an idea and you develop an application and the next day you can deploy within the seconds and minutes okay but think of if you need to purchase some hardware and software and deploy your uh, workloads and applications by building your own data center it is very 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 time consuming and uh, you know it will take uh, some months to uh, years six months or years to uh, do all these things by your own so that is called uh, you know faster deployment okay uh, and uh, uh, so these are all the some of the things uh, we can consider uh, as an advantage of cloud computing friends so in the next class we'll discuss a little bit about uh, disadvantages of cloud computing also so till then bye bye yours Vera signing off thank you friends bye bye